Recent Palantir, NYSE, PLTR, developments highlighted in a May 24th video include a 1.4% uptick in stock prices based on May 23rd trading. Investors anticipate significant implications following these updates. The inaugural AI Expo for National Competitiveness in Washington, D.C. brought together America's military-industrial complex and top tech firms, including Palantir. Attendees, dominated by those viewing war as a financial and strategic endeavor, witnessed fiery discussions led by figures like Eric Schmidt and Palantir CEO. Palantir Technologies, NYSE, PLTR, demonstrates strong growth and profitability with a revenue increase of 21% year-over-year and a 40% rise in customer count. Operating margins have shifted from negative to positive, signaling a promising trajectory for the company's bottom-line profitability as it continues to exp Despite Palantir's promising aspects, its revenue growth projections suggest it may not reach the scale of big tech giants. With a forecasted $18 billion revenue by 2030, it pales in comparison to behemoths like Alphabet and Microsoft, which surpass $200 billion annually. Palantir's revenue growth trajectory, while impressive at 30% since 2018, may not position it as a major player among big tech stocks. Forecasting $18 billion in revenue by 2030, it falls significantly short of industry leaders like Alphabet and Microsoft, which boast revenues exceeding $200 billion. While Palantir shows potential, its revenue projections indicate it may not ascend to the ranks of big tech giants. Despite a projected $18 billion revenue by 2030, it lags far behind industry leaders like Alphabet and Microsoft, whose annual sales exceed $200 billion, signaling a disparity in scale. Palantir Technologies didn't make it onto the Motley Fool Stock Advisors list of top 10 stocks. Investors should consider their recommendations, which have historically outperformed the S&P 500, to potentially identify lucrative investment opportunity. Billionaire Stanley Druckenmiller increased his investment in Palantir, PLTR, stock during Q1 2024, acquiring 769,965 shares after selling. Selling his entire stake in Q2 2023. Despite a lower allocation in his 13F portfolio, his move signals confidence in the company's potential. Proxit Group Incorporated announces a strategic partnership with Palantir Technologies Incorporated, enhancing digital engineering capabilities across industries such as healthcare, fintech, and real estate. Palantir's AI systems combined with Proxit's expertise aim to empower businesses of all sizes with advanced data analysis and operational Palantir shares dropped 7% in after-hours trading following weaker-than-expected guidance despite reporting stronger-than-expected revenue and earnings per share, EPS, in line with analyst estimates. The company anticipates revenue for the current quarter and full year below analyst expectations. Palantir Technologies has undergone significant evolution, emerging as a financially robust entity. With consistent profitability and expanding margins, the company's growth trajectory reflects its resilience and adaptability in the market. Palantir's quarterly letter to shareholders highlights a remarkable milestone. Its quarterly profits now surpass the annual revenue generated a decade ago. This achievement underscores the company's substantial growth and strong margins over the years, marking a significant transformation for the tech firm. CEO Carp's shareholder letter unveils an extraordinary accomplishment. Palantir's quarterly profits now exceed the annual revenue generated a decade ago. Palantir's remarkable success and robust profitability can be attributed to its impressive revenue growth trajectory. With sales soaring in both its commercial and government segments, the company's strong performance is driving its bottom line. The key driver behind Palantir's stellar financial performance is its soaring top line, fueled by booming sales in both commercial and government sectors. Palantir's stock has surged over 230% since 2023, following a challenging period in 2022. The resurgence in tech stocks, fueled by innovations like ChatGPT, 
has propelled Palantir to become one of the market's top performers. However, its steep valuation, the Motley Fool Stock Advisor team has excluded Palantir Technologies from its list of top 10 stocks to buy now, signaling caution for potential investors. Instead, they recommend considering other stocks with the potential for significant returns in the future. A Palantir executive recently sold over $1.9 million worth of company stock in multiple transactions, as revealed in a Form 4 filing. These sales were executed to cover tax withholding obligations and were conducted in compliance with trading regulations. The insider stock sales at Palantir Technologies Incorporated, NYSC, Palantir Technologies, PLTR, stock is experiencing volatility following its recent quarterly earnings release, leaving investors uncertain about its direction in the short. Palantir, PLTR, stock has seen an 18% dip since May 6, making it an attractive consideration for investors. With a strong balance sheet boasting no debt and a current ratio of nearly 6.0x, it presents a solid investment opportunity, according to veteran Wall Street analyst Stephen G. Palantir Technologies Incorporated, NYSE, PLTR, Executive Heather A. Planashek recently sold over $476,000 worth of company stock, as disclosed in SEC filings. The Citigroup analyst Tyler Radke raised Palantir Technologies' stock price target to $25, citing solid upside following the company's first quarter 2024 results, which included record new customer additions. Palantir Technologies Incorporated's PLTR Chief Financial Officer David A. Glazer recently offloaded over $1.65 million worth of Class A common stock in a series of transactions spanning three days. Utilizing Rule 10b-5-1, these sales were pre-planned and not tied to recent market developments, underscoring the significance of of automated trading strategies in managing insider stock transactions. Amidst Palantir Technologies Incorporated's PLTR, recent buzz on Zax.com, understanding its performance drivers is crucial. Despite a minus 4.6% return in the past month, the Zax technology services industry surged by 5.9%. Evaluating earnings estimate revisions is paramount for informed investment decisions, with expectations of a plus 60% change in earnings per share for the counter technologies, PLTR, exceeded expectations in Q1 2024, reporting $634.34 million in revenue, a 21% increase year-over-year, year, and a net income of $105.53 million. Despite the positive earnings, shares dipped over 6% in extended trading as the company's guidance failed to meet investor expectations, leading to a slight adjustment in full-year revenue projections. Palantir Technologies, PLTR, has shown impressive growth since its IPO, with shares currently trading around $22 from an initial $10 offering. Achieving a $100 per share mark would require sustained annual growth of over 20%, a prospect scrutinized by investors amidst concerns over the balance between government and commercial revenue streams impacting Palantir, PLTR, has seen significant YDD gains, up nearly 30%, with a remarkable 126% increase since its IPO. Recent trading patterns show PLTR hovering near the lower end of its monthly range, facing support around $20.88 to $21.12 and resistance near $21.76 to $21.92. Palantir, NYSE, PLTR, has surged 230% since early 2023, driven by its strategic positioning in the AI sector. Despite a recent pullback post, Q1 results, the value portfolio notes an incredibly strong quarter. Palantir's Q1 earnings reveal robust growth in U.S. commercial total contract value, TCV, up 131% YOY, signaling successful scaling of its AIP. Despite market misinterpretations of certain metrics, 
such as overall U.S. commercial revenue growth, the company remains a compelling bet on AI. Catalysts for Q2 include the Oracle Partnership and the Mixed Reality OSD. Palantir impressively grew its U.S. commercial total contract value, TCV, by plus 131% in Q1 2024, up from plus 107% in Q4 2023, signaling strong AIP scalability. Despite a market dip due to slower U.S. commercial revenue growth, 40% YOY compared to 70% in Q4, TCV remains paramount. Palantir's Q1 earnings reveal a 21% YOY revenue growth, with U.S. commercial revenue up 40%. While these figures may not justify its valuation as a high-growth tech stock, focusing solely on them overlooks the larger picture of AIP scalability. U.S. commercial total contract value, TCV, and remaining deal value. RDV surge plus 131% and plus 74% YOY respect. Palantir's strategic focus on AIP scalability is evident, with U.S. commercial customers serving as a testing ground. Achieving a remarkable plus 131% growth in U.S. commercial TCV underscores the success in this endeavor. Financial metrics, aside from AIP-related figures, hold less relevance. Palantir's Q1 earnings saw an upward revision in 2024 market guidance, albeit below analyst projections. However, the market's fixation on forward guidance overlooks macroeconomic influences and the dominance of Palantir's government sector. With AIP driving over 100% growth in U.S. commercial business for consecutive quarters, Amidst the market's fixation on limited financial metrics, Palantir's broader potential is obscured. I'll highlight key catalysts driving its stock in the upcoming discussion. These include its formidable AI advantage in B2B, coupled with exceptional commercial execution. Together, these factors paint a compelling picture of Palantir's prowess in navigating the evolving landscape of business intelligence. Dis Palantir Technologies, with roots in government intelligence, is now diversifying into the private sector, buoying its stock. While government sales still dominate revenue, commercial expansion presents significant potential. Despite Wall Street skepticism on sustained private sector growth, Palantir's trajectory suggests a possible $30 valuation in the future, leveraging its evolving business analytics capabilities. Wedbush stands out with an optimistic outperform rating and a $35 price target for Palantir Technologies ahead of its quarterly report. Anticipating a robust performance, particularly in the U.S. commercial segment, the firm's bullish outlook contrasts sharply with the industry average of $21.89, suggesting a substantial 64.78% upside potential. Leading the pack with a bullish stance, Wedbush maintains an outperform rating and sets a $35 price target for Palantir Technologies. With expectations of a strong quarter, especially in the U.S. commercial segment, Wedbush's forecast diverges significantly from the industry average of $21.89, projecting an impressive 64.78% increase. Wedbush's bullish outlook on Palantir Technologies is evident through its outperform rating and $35 price target preceding the company's quarterly report. Focused on the promising performance of the U.S. commercial segment, Wedbush's forecast starkly contrasts the industry average of $21.89, suggesting a substantial 64.78% potential upside for PLTR stock. Despite consistently surpassing earnings expectations, Wall Street remains cautious about PLTR's potential surge. Bank of America's Mariana Perez Moore views Palantir favorably, citing its AI market positioning with a $28 price target. Citi raised its target to $25, reflecting optimism in U.S. commercial prospects, while HSBC's Stephen Bursey adjusted his target to $23, maintaining a hold rating. The Street Pro's Stephen Sarge Gilfoyle singles out Palantir, PLTR, as his top pick, emphasizing its robust financials and expanding clientele.
Despite perceived valuation risks, Guilfoyle remains bullish on the stock for the long haul. His endorsement underscores confidence in Palantir's trajectory and potential for sustained growth in the market. Wall Street veteran analyst Stephen Sar Palantir CEO Alexander Karp's recent stock sales, totaling over $15 million, raise investor interest amid ongoing scrutiny. While the transactions were part of a pre-existing trading plan to cover tax obligations, they signal a notable shift in Karp's investment in the company. Analyst insights from investing pro Palantir Technologies, NYSE, PLTR, surged 239% since early last year, propelled by its pivot towards serving enterprise-level businesses with AI solutions. Despite this, its all-time high occurred over three years ago. Understanding the fact Palantir's chief technology officer, Sham Sankar, recently sold over $3.6 million in company stock, engaging in significant transactions over three days. These sales, part of a trading plan, aim to cover tax obligations related to vested RS use. The filings offer investors insight into insider sentiment. Reddit users speculate on potential S&P 500 inclusions, focusing on Palantir Technologies, PLTR, and App Loving Corp. App. Some caution against unrealistic expectations, citing profitability requirements. Others eye companies like DoorDash, Dash, Aries Management Corp., Aries, and Block. Palantir executive Stephen Cohen sold $7.45 million in company stock over three days, part of scheduled transactions to cover tax obligations. These sales, publicly available through SEC filings, reflect routine executive compensation practices. Investors can track such transactions.